Yeah, this is Jose. We are at Wheels and Waves. Another incredible show at Wheels and Waves. And you brought in this uh, 1955 Chevy First Series. And and it's um it's uh it's getting massaged. Yep. Right? It's going in for a massage soon. This right? uh beginning of the month mm -hmm. is going in for a body and paint. Yeah. And uh, right now it's in primer. Yep. Right. When what color are you gonna paint it? Black pearl top with the matte black bottom. Why why that color for you? My wife likes it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no better an answer than that, buddy. Hey. Yeah. And is this your business? Is it just for fun? And what yes, is for fun. Yeah. yes, for fun. How yeah. long have you had the truck? I had it for about three years. Yeah. And why why this truck? Why my wife liked it. Yes, yeah. what That's the, the wife truth. likes. That's the truth. Happy wife, happy life. That's right. This is Alex uh, at Wheels and Waves here in Malibu. Uh, lots of cool trucks. Yes, sir. Lots of cool trucks. Uh, what is it about a the difference between a, a truck and a car for people? What you know uh, with this one that you have? What year is this? Fifty four. Fifty four. Why why a truck for you? Why it's fun. Get get around. You know, it's different. You can haul shit. And you can haul. Yes. <laughs> you can haul stuff. But why why this ways. why this particular truck? Why? Yeah. Well, I like the one-piece window. Yeah. And then square body truck in the bed. Yeah. And it's fun. Tell me, tell me some of the things that you've done to this one. Then airbag, four link. Uh, it's got a Mustang two front end. Mm -hmm. Five speed tranny. Tall volt headers. The whole thing. Yeah. Whole nine yards. Yeah. And you got you guys go to Disc a lot breaks. of. You got a lot of shows. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've done an awesome job. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wheels and Waves just keeps getting better and better. We got incredible cars. People just coming, hanging out, kind of doing their thing. You know, <laughs> I just show up, man. Some incredible cars from here. Surf City Classics. Surf City Classics. Uh, this is not a small feat. This car that you, that you built behind it. Absolutely not. How long did this thing take? Uh, 
the guy that built it took a year and a half. Okay. And literally built it with stuff he had laying around in his yard. You know, I would say that it looks like it, but it doesn't because yeah. everything is so well thought out. Yeah. Yeah, the guy was a hell of a fabricator, and, right. and he's one of those guys that has a zillion cars and parts and three or four Hemis laying around. And, right. and, and a lot of Buffalo nickels. Yeah, those are, uh, I put those on there. <laughs> yeah. That was well, my, my touch. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Thank Is you, there anything yeah. that you haven't done to it that you, you want to? Everything. Yeah. Yeah, right. it never ends. <laughs> it never ends. Great yeah. job. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for having us. lunch today but while we were walking we saw a house on our street that is currently for sale and the interesting thing about that is about a month ago I said I would really like to see the inside of that house and I didn't even know it was for sale. Well I just put that out into the universe and lo and behold it's suddenly for sale after 26 years of living on this street suddenly the doors are open so let's go check it out. That first house, uh, we're about to go take a look at another one, but that first house was $2.7 uh, million, dollars and uh, which is actually a pretty good deal considering uh, built in 1963 in pretty good shape. I'll put down in the show notes uh, if you want to get in contact with the realtor there, but it has a stellar view. Now this next house I'm gonna take you guys into is also a house that I've wanted to see the inside of for a very long time. Just didn't expect it to be today.
Okay, uh, this is Ani. Uh, I was just walking around, mind my own business as I normally do, and I, I spotted your incredible houses uh, that you have for sale here. But this house is, it's almost hard to express how beautiful this home is. Uh, can you tell me some of the highlights of this place? Absolutely, it would be my pleasure. Okay. Uh, this house definitely stands out from the rest that are situated here on the bluffs of La Costa. It is very much like a loft-like setting, so we call it Aspen on the Bluffs. And it's a mixture oh. of loft and tropical at the same time. We sure. have a beautiful botanical garden. Um, it, it, tropical Aspen? A tropical wow. Aspen. So wow, very cool. Best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, tri-level? It's, tri it's currently two levels, okay. and then the third level down below is unfinished, mm -hmm. and one can come and finish the house. Uh, but what's really exciting about this house is the fact that it has patio space and decks off of each room almost. Right. So it's a very indoor, the outdoor. Views and are incredible. Panoramic views you have from Queen's Necklace all the way down to uh, uh, Point Doom. Mm -hmm. And we have an amazing whale watching deck, as um, our owner calls it. This is where they sit out and watch the dolphins play and the whale. If you were to redo that third level, what would you do down there? Uh, I would love to have, because I love watching movies, so I would make it a home theater. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good idea. We'll get started on that right away. The house is currently listed for uh, $3,795. Okay. okay. Just under 3,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And um, what I wanted to point out is you are situated literally right across the street from the La Costa Beach and Tennis right. Club. Right. And it is deeded to that club, which right. is wonderful. My website, that would be come to Malibu, the number two, dot com. Mm -hmm. And your email address? Come to Malibu at yahoo.com. Specifics, important. Okay, good job, thank you. Thank you so much. That was a spectacular house. I almost tripped on the stairs. Quite a beautiful place. Uh, this is called the Clock House. There's a clock above the, uh, the garage door. Really great and quiet neighborhood too.